Hey guys, this week I'm going to show you how I turned Raph into the Thing from Fantastic Four for uh, Marvel vs. TMNT Phase 2 here on the On Green Show. First step, I um, cover him with a matte varnish and I'm using a 2003 Raph. I'm using 2003 figures for um, all my Marvel so far. The um, clear coat helps everything to stick better. And I'm going with, uh, it's called spackling. And it's just made for like filling small holes and stuff, but you can get thicker, that's for more heavy duty. But I use it for making like a rock texture or just uh, basic sculpting on figures. Uh, it's like five bucks for that thing I'm using and I'm using some uh, sculpting tools to apply it and just giving it a first coat, just covering. I'm leaving all the joints so that he is still fully posable, even though they have to be posed a certain way to stand up generally, turtle toys, probably from the heavy shell. I don't know. Uh, there's gotta be a reason why they make them in all weird leg poses. At least the older ones, the newer ones from 2012, they stand up straight but they have like barrel, like tree trunk legs. So I do a second coat of spackling there, doing a little more detail and thickening them up. And I'm trying to get them to have a mix, like big brow ridge line, but it was hard because I left the uh, mask on, so to have it going too far over was would have looked funny. Now I'm going with uh, cinnamon brown and a bit of black uh, primer. It's a black acrylic primer. It should be linked down below if you want to check it out. And I just want to get a base coat, a dark base coat, and maybe I'll it'll dry brush and it'll show through the cracks later to give a little extra definition. That's why I chose to go with the dark uh, base coat. And I could have covered them with primer to start with, but then I would have had to have been careful around the mask and the teeth that I'm not painting. So I mixed a little bit of daffodil yellow with uh, pumpkin orange to get a, a bit of a lighter yellower orange for this first coat. And I'm just dry brushing and uh, covering him as much as I can, as fast as I can, but trying to be careful to not paint the red mask and then it touches the shell so I got to hold it up for a while but until it dries so it, eh. when it touches the paint doesn't rub off but uh, I'm also going to paint his pads brown so I try not to get it on there but if I do it's okay. I had tried with my uh, 3D pen to do some like rock but it didn't really work out on the other guy it was trying to fall off and uh, didn't look how I wanted. So now, I'd, after the lighter orange, I decide I'm just going to go with the straight pumpkin orange for him. And so now I'm covering it. I'm not really dry brushing. I'm not trying to keep the brown showing through anymore because, I don't know, sometimes you change your plans as you're going. I just thought more orangey would be better, closer to the reference of the thing from Fantastic Four. So you might notice the theme for this uh, phase two. Uh, Leo was the Silver Surfer and uh, now Raph's the thing. It's pretty easy to put together who the rest of the people are going to be, but there's going to be four more videos like this. But next week I'm going back to the uh, Mutant Apocalypse from the 2012 series. So now that I got them all painted and I gave them another clear coat before I put this on, this is a uh, foam clay. And it's as it sounds, it's uh, foam, but it works kind of like clay because it takes about 24 hours to dry and then it's just like hard foam that you might find in a floor mat or some other craft foam. And again, I'm just being careful to put it on his legs and put it on his crotch, but leave the joint open so that his legs can move. Now I have a white uh, acrylic primer that I'm covering the pants with. 
I let them dry for about uh, 14, 15 hours. It was thin, so it didn't make a big deal. And uh, it was dry to touch, but when you don't leave it the full time to dry, it gives sometimes a little bit of an oily or shiny uh, final product. But I was fine with that, because in my reference, he's wearing some shiny blue shorts that are um, pretty tight. So that's what I went for. I used a Copenhagen blue because it kind of matched the best out of the blues that I had. And that's just a two millimeter craft foam. I cut a strip of white out of to go for his waistband. And then there was a little extra and uh, this was a smaller piece I had cut to get a straighter line, but I thought that goes fine in the back. Like it adds a little uh, something to it by having it dip down in the back. I don't know, it's just something different. Now I'm covering the whole thing with a clear coat again, but the pants or shorts didn't get a clear coat yet. So, but I also cover everything. And uh, that's what he looks like. Uh, I wanted to mention, since I passed 500 subscribers a couple weeks ago, I unlocked the community tab. And the reason I was so excited to do that is because that's somewhere I understand that you can show me pictures of your customs that you've made. But also, I did my first poll in there. I want to know uh, what's your favorite TMNT series. I think 2003 and 2012 are tied right now. And then 87, and then nobody voted for Rise. And also... Uh, who's excited for Cowabunga Collection? That looks dope. That just was announced yesterday as I'm recording this video, but I've gone past my time. So um, until next week, thanks a lot for watching. Always keep your head up. Peace.